again i'm christine the gemini stitcher and welcome to my sewing space if you watched monday's make some plans yes i have got the same dress on i've recorded this unashamedly back to back because i'm away in anglesey but i've popped back because i've got some amazing cardigan patterns to share with you now we don't know about you but this is a time of year where I like to layer up and keep snuggly and warm. I love my jumpers, I love my sweatshirts, but being a lady of a certain age, sometimes they are a little bit too claustrophobic, if you know what I mean. And a cardigan with a thin polo neck or a blouse underneath works much better on my hot days because it means i can take the cardigan off put the cardigan on take the cardigan off again you catch my drift but the cardigans that i've got in my winter wardrobe quite honestly are a bit boring they're not boring in colors they're boring in design now it's great to have some plain practical cardigans in your wardrobe but sometimes we want to elevate it a little bit so i found five cardigan patterns some of them i've already got in my stash and indeed i've used and some of them are new to me as well i've matched them with some yummy fabrics some from my stash and some that i am still lusting after so if that's something you're interested in, grab yourself a cuppa or a stiff drink and let's talk cardies together. Cardigan number one is one that I've made before, but not for quite some time. And I don't know why I've not made it recently, but it is back on my radar. And it's the Tilly and the Buttons Pearl Wrap Cardigan. There's the pearl. Lots of you will have made it already. Maybe like me, you made it a while ago and you've forgotten that you've got it in your stash. But I'm going to elevate this cardigan. I've made it before in sweatshirt fabric and I've made it in a knit fabric. But I want to make it a little bit more of a party cardigan. So I've got some shiny sparkly rib fabric in my stash let me grab it this is the fabric that i want to make the purling it's got some stretch to it quite a bit of stretch actually it's quite thin well not see-through thin but not big thick cardigan so it's like quite drapey, plain on the back. And I just think that as a pearl cardigan with the puff sleeve and the wrap front, I can wear it on its own with a pair of plain black trousers, look really stylish, or I can layer it with a blouse underneath and feel a little bit warmer so cardigans don't always have to be practical and this one certainly isn't going to be one of my practical cardigans but i'm going to make the pearl in this and i cannot wait cardigan number two is one that i've not got at the moment but it's a free pattern. Yes, you heard me right, it's free. I have Rachel from Stitched Up to thank for this little find because she put it on one of her vlogs recently and I was all over it like a rash. It's from Mood Fabrics. It is the Garnet Cardigan. There's an image of the Garnet. I love this cardigan idea. It's got no cuffing and all 
the cuff area on the sleeve where it cinches in and at the waistline is all being done with pleats so quite a bit of sewing to be done and quite a bit of accurate sewing but apart from that apart from all the pleats it is quite a simple cardigan and to be quite honest you need it to be after you've sewn all those pleats don't you but so different I really really think this is going to be a stunning one to make and again I've got some fabric in my stash so that's great This is what I'm thinking of making the garnet cardigan in. Again, it's going to be quite a dressed up cardigan, isn't it? Cardies don't have to be woolly and boring, do they? This is a stretch velour that I got from Abercarns in the sale recently. And I think it will make a quite luxurious garnet cardigan. And where the pleats are, look what's happening when I'm pleating this. How beautiful does that look? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the garnet in that. So, yeah, number two, another posh cardigan is going to be the garnet. Cardigan number three is one that I've had in my stash for ages and still not made up. Naughty me. I don't know why I've not done it. I think it's partly because I've not been able to find the right fabric. And it's the balloon cardigan by Wardrobe by Me. There's the balloon cardigan. I'm loving the aesthetic where it's been done without buttons and they've used metal poppers instead. And they've even got one where they've used some lace fabric in it as well. Lots of ideas for this one. But I have got some fabric in my stash to use as well. Here it is. It's some more of the velour in a beautiful, petrolly green colour. And I think that as one of the balloon sleeve cardigans, I want to make this up with the metal poppers on. And then it'll be a bit more like a lightweight jacket as well, won't it? And it'll serve two purposes. I decided whether to do the cuffing for this one in the same fabric or try and find some sparkly cuffing to go on the cuffs and the waistband. It would be great if I could find some that matched but probably not possible. So I'm thinking silver metal press studs and all done in that fabric for the balloon sleeve cardigan. So that is the next cardigan that's on my radar and it's a wardrobe by me pattern and it's one that I got in my stash. This next cardigan is one, again, in my stash, never been used. And it's the forget-me-not patterns. Now, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong. It's the cursy cardigan. I'm sure I said it wrong, but hey. It's a stunning wrap cardigan that can be made in about three or four different ways, depending on how you tie it. So I'll pop a few images up here of the different variations. Not sure which way I'm going to do it yet, but I've got two fabrics that I'm thinking I might quite like. One of them is from Higgs and Higgs, and it's their cable and angora feel fabric and there's that fabric that's a medium weight fabric I've made the toaster dress in it and it is so snuggly and soft so that one might be an option or the other option it's from Guthrie and Garnet and it's one of their Marlnets I'm loving it in the moss green at the moment I'm obsessed with that colour 
So that's the colour that I would perhaps do the cursor in if I used a Guthrie and Garnet fabric. And then if it was done in the Higgs and Higgs, they've got a paler green that might look good in it as well. So either of those are on my radar. The last cardigan is a pattern that I don't own, but I'm thinking I can maybe hack another cardi to sort of look like it if that makes sense it's the pattern that i want to replicate is the itch to stitch castillo cardigan there it is i'm loving the idea of a cardigan with a hood on in a rib knit fabric and that cardigan is about as near as I can get to the image, the vision that is in my head. Again, I would probably use the Higgs and Higgs Angora Feel cable knit fabric just because it's soft and snuggly and quite drapey. So, they're my five cardigans. This is a quick whistle stop tour of what's in my head and what I'm planning on the cardigan front. I hope that some of them have given you some inspiration and let me know what you think of my choices. If you've got a cardigan with a twist that's not just a straight button-up cardigan, either raglan or setting sleeves, V or straight high neck, just something that's got something else about it, then let me know and I'll add it to my list of wonderful cardigan makes for this winter. Hope you've enjoyed. Take care. I'm in Anglesey at the moment. Hopefully we will be motoring through our so different pattern challenge we set ourselves and you'll find out all about that next Monday. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and I will see you all then. Happy sewing, take care, love you loads, bye.